Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the court, but especially to new cruisers in tonight's How to Cruise. Let's talk about cruise photos. Yes, taking pictures on a cruise. This is something that everybody can participate in, and I'll just get right to the most important part. It is always free to try. They do not charge you any money to go and sit down and take a picture. You just go and look at them later, and if you want to keep them, then you got to pay. It's all charged to your account. You can get digital copies, you can get prints, you can get the prints in various different form factors. There's usually a studio award for special occasions, and a number of packages are also available. Here we are looking at the advertisement for the all-inclusive photo package. Here on MSC, this is only available during the first three days, but most importantly, it includes all of your pictures in digital formats that you take. And when they say all, they mean all. Take as many as you want, and they're all included. On every cruise line you will find a kiosk where you can view your cruise photos what should happen is you come by you tap your card and up pop all of your okay let's do this again you tap your card and up pop okay <laughs> let's try this i should try this first okay it's not working tonight but i promise you i don't promise you they promise you it'll be working tomorrow but actually you can always say that it would it will be working tomorrow uh, just like the sun, right? Here on MSC Seascape, there is an alternate way to find your photos. So let's try find my photos. And I don't have my card or wristband. And, oh, I can still enjoy this experience, but I won't be able to save them. Well, I understand that. Uh, and of course, who doesn't love some dense legalese? I, I don't know if I'm selling my future children or not, but uh, let's just agree to everything and go ahead. I'm taking my picture. Hello. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't reach it and fit in frame. Oh, wait, wait, let's, no. Oh. Is the camera adjustable? Ah, uh, there we go. Three, two, one. All right, if the robots are sentient enough. Oh, hey, it worked. All right, <laughs> I'm uh, mildly impressed. And here I am in all my glory, even from embarkation day. All right, that is uh, kind of awesome, but, uh, yeah, what, what's the deal with what's the deal with this? Come on, come on, guys. All right, sometimes the shot composition doesn't really work, although the palettes are quite complimentary. I will give myself that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, a normal pose. Oh, my God. Look at me. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Look at that. I, I don't look fat. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, there you go. That's how to use a photo kiosk. When you're ready to actually take the pictures, first thing to do is find a studio like we have right here. They're usually all over the ship with different backgrounds, different themes, uh, different, well, I said backdrops. And uh, a photographer who is, well, he's not in frame, but you just basically walk up and uh, take pictures. So let's do that. You've probably seen it before, but let's do it again. So the photographers are professional. They're gonna put you in a number of corporate poses, as you're gonna see here, but after we get through those, you can do some other things that you want. So think about it and uh, yeah, just take fun pictures. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like I said, whatever you want to take, they're they're pretty good about it. So let's do a jump shot. Okay. On three, ready? One, two. There you go. Get a Right. All right. Who doesn't know where that's from? Uh, Most nights, there's always multiple studios open with different backgrounds, and remember, it is always free to try. So, let's take some more pictures. Hold on, yeah. If you have a shot in mind, just let them know what you want to do and they'll 
almost always accommodate you. It's not always backdrops. They'll use elements of the ship to take great pictures too. Here we are on the most sparkly staircase at sea. There you go, sometimes it's complicated, but it's still super fun. And now that you've taken all those amazing photos, you've got to buy some, whether an individual picture or a package or something like that, gotta take care of that before the end of the cruise because once the cruise is over, well, the pictures are deleted and they are thrown away, unless, but let's not talk about that. Depending on the cruise line, you might be able to do this on morning of disembarkation. Now here at MSC, they want you off kind of early, so maybe not. I would say it's best to do it. Well, you know what? It's always best to do it the night before or on the last night. Don't want to be rushing around in the morning. And I'm gonna go and see if the machine is working. See if I can find my pictures. Probably won't get any because I have all of this, but let's see. Let's give it a try and uh, tappy tappy. Come on, hello. Guess uh, that little gremlin hasn't been found. Also very, very important. Do not wait until the last night to take pictures because while there might be some photographers out on deck, that night, last night, there are no studios set up. If you put it off until last night, well, you basically put it off until never. Okay, fine, your next cruise. Aha, I think I may have figured it out. See, see, I'm smart. You have to click or tap, find my photos first. Now, let's tappy tappy. Tappy tappy. Oh, there we go. It's thinking real hard. And, oh, geez. Ah, more legal stuff? Hold on. Uh-oh. They found me. There we go. Wait, when did I do this? Oh, look. I jump shot. Okay, that agreement wasn't so bad. They just want the right to breed your pets. Uh, okay. Uh, 60s night? 70s night? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's one of the jump shots. Actually, that's not, not too bad. I like the shorts. Ah, uh, one of the corporate poses. And the jump shot. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I miss PhotoPass. Definitely ask if you get any status benefits. Uh, I'm gonna go and ask the team up here now. I know on uh, Norwegian, you get a decent discount. Well, decent, like 20, 25%. And I remember on some cruise line, maybe there's like one print or something like that, but let's find out. Yeah, it always benefits to ask. With my gold Voyager status, I get a picture from the Voyager's cocktail party. If you don't go to that, you can have one photo from a dining room, a dining room only, not any of the studios, or if you miss both of those, like I did, they will take your picture here uh, by the gallery, and you can pick that up after nine. And I hope I get a digital copy too. Welcome back, it is after 9 p.m., so I am on my way to pick up my complimentary Voyager's Club photograph. I think I get a print, and Hopefully digital. I know I said that before. All right, uh, we're here, so let's find out. They are efficient. Everything was ready to go the moment I walked up. So there is me in all of my uh, cruise gluttony glory. I definitely have to work on that. And yes, behold and beware the message. And my cruise photo mission is a success. I have two complimentary prints due to my Voyager status. And oh, no digital download, but that's okay. It was fun taking them. It was fun doing this whole experience. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you might have learned something. Go ahead, take the pictures. Remember, the most important part is it is absolutely free to try. They do not charge you to take the pictures, only when you take them home. If if you would like more information or if I did something wrong or if I said something wrong, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to remake this video as many times as it takes to get it right. And apparently, it was actually a good thing. So, well, all in all, it was a great experience. I'm walking away with something I actually didn't really know I had. The fact that I could have not taken this benefit, oh boy, <laughs> am I thankful for my problems.